Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass and no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass and no trouble. Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. It's very nice to be back and it's nice to have an opportunity to welcome you with a new lesson and uh, as I promised last time we are going to continue right where we stopped and that is the bass clef. Just a quick reminder we uh, spoke about the treble clef last time and that was our right hand or from the middle do or middle C to the right and now I'm going to teach you how to write the and read the music from the middle of a piano to the left or the part that plays your left hand and um, I hope you will enjoy and you will learn something again if you have any questions if something is not clear please just put a comment on my video and I will reply to you as soon as I can so uh, let's go at the music paper with the five lines and four spaces and I will show you quickly how you can read and write music written in a bass clef. Okay, here we are at the music paper and this is uh, explanation of the bass clef. First I, will, first I will show you how you can write the bass clef. It should start from the fourth line. We said last time this is line number four, not line number two, okay? So it should start from the fourth line and it kind of have a shape of half heart and those two dots i hope the picture is sharp enough i will try to make it a little better okay cool so this is how you know that you are into the bass clef or the part that is played by the left hand and it is placed from the middle of your piano middle of middle c or middle do to the left a uh, good news about this and what will make it easy is that same pattern or the same rule that we had when we spoke about the treble clef, my pencil, treble clef pencil, cool, right? Okay, so same thing and same rule applies also here. And this is that we respect the pattern that says line space, line space, line space. What is the difference is that notes will go instead of down to up, it will go from up down. So pretty much cool and pretty much easy to know. Last time we said only two notes are down, only two notes are under those lines and this time we will say opposite. Only two notes are up, only two notes are above those lines and this would be Do and T. All other notes are going to be either on line or a space going down. And as I said, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do will in the bass clef go back. Do, Ti, La, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. So if those are Do, Ti, La will be on the line and you guess sol on a space fa on a line mi on a space and all the way down i will put a picture so you will see but the pattern is very easy and very clear as i said it is line space line space same case when we have in a treble clef same rules apply but the rule slightly changes about two first notes we said in a treble clef only first two notes are down which were do and re and in a bass clef we say only two notes are up which are do and t okay so here we are at the piano and i'm about to show you how you will actually play the bass clef. So I put just the four notes as a small example to show you where you can find those notes on a piano and how to play it. So we said it starts with the Do which is a middle Do on a middle piano and following the pattern line space we need to identify other notes. So following the pattern it goes Do T 
la on a line and sol, then fa on a space, on a line, sorry, and then mi on the space, re will be on the line and do is on the space. So we need to play do, sol, mi, do. Going on a piano, it will look like this. So we said that we are supposed to find the DO by using two finger rule. We put index finger and the third finger on two black keys we, and our thumb will come straight on a DO. So this is the way to find the DO. We are interested now in the left side of the piano. So once we found the DO, we will play DO, DI, LA, SO, FA, MI, RE, DO and what was written on the paper is DO, SO, MI and next DO and this is it DO, DI, LA, SO, FA, MI, RE, DO same as it was written over here Hope you get it. Uh, this was it for this time. I hope you understood everything and I think I, will, I made it very simple and I made it clear. But in case that something is left unclear, I firstly I recommend you to watch the treble clef video. Because that video explains everything about the pattern, about how to read, about line space thing, about everything. And once you get this and understand that, I am sure that you will understand the bass clef easily also. So this is my first recommendation. If there is anything left unsaid or something unclear, please put a comment on the video, ask me any question, I will reply as soon as possible. Wish you all the best, sending you a lot of love and light. God bless you and see you next time. Bye bye. Yeah,